What's up, Eagles fans? Well, earlier in another segment, we showed you exactly what the Eagles personnel staff saw in Avante Maddox during his time at the East-West Shrine game earlier in January. Well, how about in his college film? Let's go back and see him at Pitt, Greg, and some of the things that really impressed you with him on film. Yeah, we talked about the fact that he predominantly played on the outside and to the boundary, the short side of the field. And that's a defined position in college, more so than the NFL, because of where the hash marks are. So the short side of the field is really short. And that's where he is right here. Now, here he's going to play essentially cover three. The two safeties right now are in a two deep shell, but they're going to rotate. And this will be cover three. And he's going to turn and run. And when you play cover three like this, there's really two receivers you have to watch. Obviously, your immediate responsibility is the, is the receiver that you're playing over. Because if he goes vertical, you have to run with him. But you also have to get your eyes based on your zone technique. As you can see right here, you have to get your eyes on number two. Because if one stops and two runs vertical, then you have to squeeze into two and here Maddox does about as good a job as you can do look at him right there one hitches up he moves inside to two he plays that about as well as you can play it that's blackboard stuff that's the way you teach it that's an outstanding job by Maddox well, how you say blackboard and not even whiteboard we got to get you uh, there you we go gotta, we got to upgrade that's right you got to upgrade it that's right all right so uh, let, let's talk about I should it. probably say that's iPad stuff <laughs> exactly exactly right. <laughs> all right so now let's take a look at him here not playing to the boundary on this rep he's playing no, over to the no, field tell us more to the field against, uh, Virginia Tech yeah and here against uh, Virginia Tech again I said he predominantly played to the boundary, sure. so it wasn't every Not single every snap. Right. Yep. Uh, but here, I'll just run this a little bit, and we'll get a good feel for what he does here. He does a nice job here. He's in press position, does a good job using his inside arm to push a little bit to the sideline. Really nice job. You're really trying to force the receiver just to have a, a one-way go, even though there's a lot of field, and he theoretically has a two-way go. So you're trying to force it into a one-way situation, and then he does a really nice job of turning his body and finding the football. And that's something that a lot of scouts, a lot of coaches talk about a lot with corners, Fran, as you know. It's not just playing with good technique. They'd really like their corners to be able to locate the ball and, of course, come up with some interceptions. So let me ask you this question. As we try and make the projection for a guy who played right. outside right. to play inside, and a rep like this where he's playing inside the numbers, right. Right. all of this space he's got to deal with, that receiver, in essence, has a two-way go, much like what he would see in the slot. Yes, uh, more so, obviously, than if you're playing to the boundary, sure, exactly. for sure. And, and like I said, I think his technique here is pretty good. Eye on the receiver, then he turns, picks up the ball late. Yeah. I mean, the ball was already in the air. And you make a good point because I think given his size, 5'9", 185 pounds, give or take, he's going to get opportunities in the slot in Philadelphia. So one of the other roles of a boundary corner you often see at the college level, like you mentioned, it's so short because of the wide hash mark. Yep. You, you're often going to see those boundary corners come off the edge as a blitzer, much like what you see with nickel corners in the NFL. No question. Tell us what you see here. And that's why this play, I think, is a play we really wanted to show because I think it's representative if he does get opportunities in the slot, and he will given his size, to show him as a blitzer. Because this is almost the same distance as if you're coming from the slot, given the short side of the field in college football. And he does – What you know what I really like about this? the way he disguises it. Look right now where his eyes are. Look at his position as a press man corner. This looks press man all the way. Does a really nice job of disguising it. In fact, the back has no idea because the back has to be able to pick that up, but the back has no idea that Maddox is coming, does a real nice job, shows some downhill speed and burst, and gets there for the sack. Can I say one thing that I think is a little bit underrated no, you when you're watching film? <laughs> uh, and I think people notice this. They seem like a little tiny right. thing. When a guy makes a play and you see all of his teammates run with him to that's celebrate, interesting. that's a little thing and I think it kind of speaks to his character and he is known yeah, That's what he's known leader. for. Yes, yes. absolutely. So that's one little thing you can pick up watching him on film. So Avante Maddox, a lot of really intriguing traits with this kid. I think we're going to be really excited to see him make that transition here in Philadelphia.